right guys in this video today i'm going to go ahead and show you how to replace the opening cinematic that comes on whenever you first start the game for state of decay 2. now if you're anything like us modding then you probably are sick and tired of seeing it you really know that undead labs made the game but you really couldn't care less and you don't want them throwing it in your face every single time you start the game so i will show you how to either delete that or go ahead and add your very own custom clip in there that you can make the game a little bit more to your liking with whenever you first start it up. Now, normally, whenever you start the game up, you will get this. Like I said, the first time you saw it, you probably thought it was kind of cool. Past that point, you really have no use for it anymore. So let's go ahead and exit out of this. Now the first thing you need to do is go ahead and locate the area where that movie clip is held. Now I'm gonna do this with the Steam version of the game, but this will go over the same for Microsoft as well. You'll just have to go to the Microsoft directory instead of the Steam library. And I'll go leave a path for both those in the description. So go ahead and go to your Steam library, Steam apps, common, data decay 2, data decay 2, content, and then you'll see movies, logos. This right here is what we want to replace. Now, in order to do this, you will need to download the same tools that not only Undead Labs, but a lot of game developers use to incorporate this type of stuff into their game. And there is a free version of that on their website. I will leave a link for this as well in the description below, but all you're going to need is the Bink video tools. So once you get to this screen, you will scroll down, you will come to download the rad video tools, and then you will click this very top link right here. Now, whenever you go to extract this download, it will ask you for the password, and that password is RAD, all in caps. It's right there. I already have it downloaded and installed, so I'm not going to bother doing that again. Now, once you have that all downloaded and installed, you'll just go ahead and bring it up, and you're going to want to open the RAD Video 64. Now the MP4 that I'm going to use to demonstrate this is a low res clip that I created and this is what it is. Nothing special, it's just here for demonstration purposes. Now we can't just add it because it is MP4 format and we need to change that to BK2. So go ahead and start up the program and you'll locate that mp4 that you want to use and you're going to click bink it now don't worry about anything that displays over here just go ahead and click bink and it will bring up a little progress bar showing that the compression is underway Okay, now once that's done, just go ahead and click done. We can go ahead and exit out of the program. And you will notice now that there is a BIK version of your MP4. Now we can't just move this over here and have it work. As you'll notice, this is BK2 as to where ours is BIK. That's because the free version of their tools does not include the BK2 format, but don't worry about that. Fortunately for us, the plugins that Undead Labs actually use for this game contains the libraries for everything you need in there. So the only thing that you will actually have to do with this to create to convert it to a BK2 is take these last three for the extension and type in BK2. It will ask you if you're sure. Just say yes. And then you will want to rename it to the same thing that they have here, logos. Now 
Now, if all you want to do is delete their movie and you don't want to deal with any opening sequence anymore, period, you can just click on this, delete it, and be done with it. Or if you just want to save it for later because for some odd reason you want to replace it, you can just go ahead and just take it out of there. Take a copy of it to your desktop or something. Now, personally, I'm going to just replace it because I don't care about it. So we're going to just drag and drop this into here. Say replace. And go ahead and shrink that down. And now when we start up State of Decay 2, you will find it a little different. And that's all there is to it, guys. Um, I would recommend using a clip that is somewhere between, say, 15 to 30 seconds max. You can actually put a full-length movie on there if you so wish. Or if you actually have friends that you're trying to get into a lobby with or something, I doubt they're going to be very patient with you if you have uploaded an opening sequence that is the equivalent to you watching some full series on Netflix. But that's it, guys. That's all there is to it. And until next time. This is Texas Digital Gaming. Out. Oh.